Hello everyone, it's Gunner here from Dogs, and welcome back to a new video on the channel. Today's video, we're going to be making a command handler. Now to start us off, I've started us off in the index.js purely because I want to change this to start instead of login because we're actually just going to head on over to the Doc client here and we're just going to alter this to just be start as well. Now the reason I'm doing this is because we're making a command handler, right? So we want to load all our commands in here and I think login just isn't as accurate as start. Now I think the first thing we're going to do here is we're quickly going to make a util.js file and then we're going to install a couple packages here. So the first one we're going to install is path. So we're going to require it and we're going to obviously do path here and we'll install all of these later. So we'll do const and we'll just grab promise f5 from the util package here going to grab glob here as well it equals require and we're just going to require glob not forgetting our semicolons and then finally we're going to just you know right here right now require the class that we're going to create after let's install all these packages super duper quickly so we'll open the visual studio code terminal here and we'll, uh, we'll do yarn add uh, path util and glob so we'll quickly pop over to our package.json and you'll see all of these files have just been added. Quickly head on back here, close the terminal up and you'll notice that pretty much our linter is going to spit the dummy here. But let's just quickly get into writing the code. So module.exports equal and we're going to create a class util here. Obviously inside an object, we're going to create a constructor and inside that constructor we're going to pass the client. And then we're going to do this dot client equals client. Now we're going to go down a couple lines here. Just add a line here as well as go down two lines. We're going to name is class and we're going to input put input as a parameter name. We're going to do return type of input uh, and then we're going to do equals function and then we're going to do and type of input to prototype prototype equals object and input dot to string then we're going to substring here at the end we're going to do substring 05 and then we're just going to do equals we'll do class that's right so that's that function done got to go down two lines we're going to do get and then directory inside that we're just going to pretty much do a quick return and it's going to return the uh, path dot dir name require dot main dot file file name here and we're going to go outside of here and do path dot repo uh, it's not repo sorry sep that's the one now this is where we're going to pretty much load the commands so we're going to do load commands no parameter passed and inside here we're going to just re return glob it's going to be i believe this dot directory so this is pretty much going to allow us to either put the command straight in the commands file or add subdirectories or even saying that we could do sub 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 directories and it would still work uh the reason we've gone like this now is because i, I think it's probably a better option here and do then i'm just going to pass commands as the parameter here open your curly braces up now inside here you're gonna have a for loop and it's going to be a for const command file of commands and then inside this loop, what we're going to do is not only delete the cache here, delete cache, and then we're going to provide command file. We're then going to, after that, do const, and then we're going to deconstruct. We're going to say name equals uh, path.parse. Then inside here, we're just going to do command file. We're going to add a semicolon at the end yet again. We're going to do const file equals require, and we're just going to require the command file. And then we're going to have a quick if statement and this is going to say if is not class and then we're going to provide file here we're just going to quickly throw an error we're just going to say new type error the the command and then we're just going to provide the name doesn't export a class right so why are we doing this because we're using classes for our commands i think this is a better method of just displaying your commands it's a lot cleaner and I think we should be focusing in these tutorials, especially the V12 ones, on making sure everyone has better code practices. Um, I'm not saying that the old methods that we used in V11 tutorials aren't necessarily valid anymore. I'm just saying that, you know, it's, it's better to improve, right? So we're evolving, we're getting better at coding. And if you guys do want to like see the progress of not only myself, um, but you know, obviously the tutorials in general, you'll you'll notice that 
in the V11 tutorials that I have changed my coding style quite a bit. So we're gonna throw a new type error here and this type error is just gonna be pretty much just command. I'm gonna say name doesn't belong in commands. Uh, this is just saying if it's not like a, an instance of, so it's not extended out of the clients. Uh, sorry, out of the commands. So we have a base commands class and if it's not extended out of that, we're pretty much gonna return or tell it that it's wrong. You can do command client.commands.get and then we're quickly gonna, oh, sorry, not get, sorry, set. And then we're gonna do command.name and then we're gonna pass the entire command in here, a semicolon. So what are we gonna do after that? We're just gonna do if, command.aliases.length so we're just going to do const aliases alias of command.aliases and then inside here we're just going to quickly do uh the if i can get if i can type typing is clearly something that doesn't exist here just do aliases and then command.name right so now that we've done all that we can click we should hopefully just be able to hover over one of these errors here uh, yep there we go quick fix and then we'll just fix all the errors here that's just happened and then we'll just hit enter ah uh, i noticed an issue here so i haven't promised a fired the uh requirement here so we're just gonna quickly if i can spell promise a fire and we're just gonna quickly do a so and then that should be that. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a command.js and this is where we're gonna create our command class here. So we're gonna quickly start off by doing module.exports and then we're gonna do class and then command. And inside of here, we're just gonna have a constructor and inside the constructor, we're gonna pass client, name and options. And if there is no options, it's just an empty, an empty object here. Next, what we're gonna do is this.client equals client. Then after that, this dot name equals options dot name or name. This dot aliases equals options dot aliases or an empty array. And then this dot description equals options dot description. Or we're just going to resolve it to no description provided. After this, we're going to do this dot category equals options dot category or we're just going to say uh we'll just say miscellaneous here after this what we're going to do is this dot usage if i can get that right this dot usage equals options dot usage or we're just going to simply say no usage provided now after that what we're going to do is we're going to go down a couple lines here we're going to do async run i'm just going to say message and then args here Inside here, we're just gonna throw an error. So throw new error. And this will just pretty much throw an error if there is no run function inside the commands. So this is the default class, right? So if we don't ex if we don't extend a certain part, it's just gonna default to the options we have here. So this.name, and it doesn't, if I can spell, doesn't provide a run method. Right, so now that we've done that, we're just gonna quickly make the alterations we need in here. So we're obviously going to do this dot commands equals equals new collection. Now, if we go up to the top here, you'll notice we have the collection here, and then we'll just we'll just copy this, go down two lines, and then this will be for aliases as well. And then we'll also grab the uh, utils here. So this dot utils equals new util, and then we're going to provide this, and we're just going to quickly remove that from here. And we're just going to say const util equals require. And we're just going to require the utils that we just made here. Just say util.js. So now that we've done all of that, we're just going to remove our help uh, hello command here. And underneath here, we're just going to do, if I can do this right, const command equals this.commands.get. And we're going to do cmd to lowercase or, I'm going to do or this.commands dot get this dot aliases dot get and we're just do cmd to lowercase yet again and we'll do a semicolon at the end here i'm just do if command and inside that we're do command dot run and we'll just pass the message and args here so now that we've done that we've added the client the command class if we just actually quickly fix up the the stuff here ah and then right here what we'll do 
is we will add a quick fix and we will disable quickly the uh, vars here. So this will ignore the lines underneath. So this will ignore the fact that we don't use message in args. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go outside of the structures folder, right? And we're going to make a command folder. Inside the command folder, we'll just make a hello.js. And inside here, we're just going to simply do const command equals. And we're just going to simply require the command uh, class here. So go back. I think it's, yep. And then structures. And then inside that should just be command js right after that what we're going to do is we're obviously going to extend it so we'll do module.exports equals and then we're just going to do class extends command and we're simply just going to go down here and we'll make a constructor and the reason i'm making a constructor in here is just to show you how to use the options here we'll add a super and inside the super we'll add args as well and then semicolon and then these are the options we'll quickly another space here so inside here what we can do is this is where we can obviously add our options we can have a name property and we'll say hello i'm just going to remove this because um, otherwise it will use the command's name here uh, not the command's name the command's file name here um, so we can add aliases as well so we can add aliases like this and i'll show you that we can add like we'll just say hello right and then obviously you can add just add a description and then we can obviously like say hello blah 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 uh, but obviously because we don't have a help command at the moment, it's kind of irrelevant. The aliases is somewhat relevant, um, but we'll do async run and then we'll add message and args. We do inside of here, we're just going to do message.channel.send and then we'll just say uh, hello. So this is just a simple command to, to show you that obviously this works. Uh, the command handler, sorry, but we'll add some quick fixes. We'll fix all the issues here. You'll notice that because args isn't used here, we're just going to quickly just do the uh, one line here and then we'll hit save. We'll go to the other files. We'll hit save. Make sure you hit save and everything. I'm going to quickly go in here. What we got? We got an issue. I obviously didn't mean to import this at all, really. And I do apologize for that. We're going to quickly, there's a missing semicolon here. We add the semicolon and then there's a missing space after the if down here. As you can see so that's just a quick way of obviously like going through if like i've done an error by accident it's just an easy way to go through it uh but what we'll do is we'll head on over into discord for you ah i see the issue that i've i've done here so basically i forgot obviously i had told you at the start of the episode that we'd be uh adding the loading of the commands in here i just simply have not done that so if we just quickly add it on here it's just simply going to be this dot utils dot load commands and then simply that like it's as simple as that so i did accidentally name this command instead of command so that's an issue there obviously uh we had to fix the issue in the client um but if we quickly just obviously restart the bot now uh making sure that this is changed the commands uh, we should be able to just quickly run menu docs js here oh that's not what i meant to do menu.docs.js and then it should just say hello right yep and then obviously using the standard prefix as well look at that so pretty much we've gone through and just made a quick command handler we'll be obviously showing you how to implement other commands except the uh the hello command here inside the uh your bot shortly i'm very proud i uh i think we've come quite far in this episode uh, making sure that we do the command handler as early as possible instead of obviously having to change so many commands into a command handler kind of format but anyways guys this has been connie here from menu docs and i hope you have enjoyed this video and uh make sure to subscribe to the channel uh we upload weekly and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace